hey guys welcome back to the channel if this is your very first time clicking on my video hello welcome here at this channel we're talking all about budgeting and i am showcasing my journey on how i'm trying to gain financial freedom i am 23 years old tired of debt and i'm ready to get my life in order so for today's video we will be budgeting out my second paycheck for the month of april and then we're going to be getting into my cash envelope stuffings we are working with April 24th paycheck and we're going to cover all of these expenses. And then since I don't get paid again until May 8th to compensate for the next following month, we're going to go back and put these expenses in as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have my budget breakdown paper for my paycheck. We are working again with April 24th. I just wrote down all of the expenses already just to save us some time. And then I'll just go ahead and write down the amounts. So um our first bill that's coming up for today actually it'll be files and that's going to be 73 dollars rent this is to cover for my may um rent and then this is the other half of it so now it'll be fully funded after today and that's going to be 613. pseng i did see that it came through and i owe 38 dollars for the month netflix will be six dollars Wells Fargo, that's going to be due on May 2nd. That is a minimum balance of $70. And then my Hulu, that is $6 as well. So when we total up all of my expenses, it comes to $806. Next, moving on to my cash envelope stuffings. We're going to go back in with my car payment and start with the first half of it. And then that's going to be $89. Groceries, I did use my full amount last paycheck. So I'm just going to give myself $50 just to pick up any things that I've run out of, like milk, eggs, bread, stuff that I know I'm, I'm just going to have to go back to the store to get. So I'll just give myself a little cash for that. Spending, I'm going to give myself $40 just because there's nothing else to do but online shop, but I don't wanna go crazy. And then the total for all of this comes to $179. Now moving on to my sinking funds, this is the fun part. So I was able this month, I sold some things online and then I have um, Ibotta and I have this game that I play on my phone and I cashed out some money for that. So I was able to get an additional $90 for this month. And then I decided to add that to my sinking fund since I'm just getting it started. So I normally was going to put $20 for my car maintenance, but I'm going to put $80 also from my money that I earned. So in total, car maintenance is going to get $100. Christmas is just going to get its usual $20. Gifts is also going to get its usual 10 and then medical it normally gets 10 but then i'm going to add the other 10 to complete the 90 so now medical is going to get 20. so that brings the total for my sinking funds it's going to be at 150. i'm so happy because i want to see those grow um right now we do know we're not doing any extra debt payments for the month everything is just going to savings and I do keep a rollover in my account, so that'll be for $5. And then so I know how much I'm going to take out of the bank, I just add my cash for my cash envelopes and then my sinking funds. So these two bring a total of $329 that I'll be taking out of the bank. And then we can go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes. So this is it for my budget. I'm just gonna go out, head to the bank, grab the cash, and then we can stuff our envelopes. Okay, I'm back from the bank, laid out all the cash. Um, I kept the paper here in frame this time so we can see it. So hopefully this works out. In this binder are my sinking funds, and then over here are my cash envelopes. So I'm gonna put my sinking funds to the side for now, and we can work on my cash envelopes first. First is car payment, $89. So we're gonna give that 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 dollars. 
$1.85, Perfect. This is the first payment, so this should be empty. It is. So we can put that in here. Put that to the side. Car insurance will be not, we will not be stuffing with this paycheck. I tried to pay as many of my bills with my first paycheck as I could, and car insurance was able to get paid, so this is getting put to the side. Great Lace is also not something that's getting paid. This is for my student loans. I was able to fully fund this with my first paycheck, so the money is still in here, and I will be making the payment for that today, so we won't be stuffing this. This is an envelope I keep for my groceries, and that's getting 50. So you can go ahead and put 50 in here. Next is spending. That's $40. So I just gave myself two 20s and I just put this in my um, wallet. So I just put this to the side. Next, we'll be working on sinking funds. So that is in here. First is car maintenance. Car maintenance will be getting a hundred, so I'll just put that in twenties. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And put that in car maintenance. Next will be Christmas. That's getting 20. Next is gifts. And that's ten dollars. And last is medical, and I'll get the last 20. And and that concludes my cash envelope stuffing for my second paycheck for the month of april hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all next time in my next video bye